Hello, my foodie friends. Welcome back to Foodish, where foodies come to be foodies. I'm your host, Jaren Crispy Olson. In today's episode, we're exploring a fan requested dish classic chicken and waffles. Thank you, Solomon Glover, for supporting Foodish and suggesting this dish. This channel could not survive without you. Thank you so very much. Now to the dish. Just like normal, we started out with making the classic chicken and waffles. Where did this dish come from? The most common answer I found in my research is a restaurant called Wells Supper Club in 1930s Harlem. But it seems that even further back, German settlers made chicken and waffles smothered in gravy for Sunday dinner during the 19th century or so. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that's the absolute truth. I don't know, I, I wasn't there to see myself. But it does seem that many would agree with me. Either way, look out for that episode, chicken and waffles with gravy on top. I'm thinking a, a white sausage gravy. What do you think? Anyways, back to the classic chicken and waffles we know. With the chicken, we went with a simple buttermilk brine. Let that sit overnight if you can to really have the, the juiciest chicken you will ever eat. For the batter of the chicken, we went simple. Remember this, this is about creating the concrete foundation of the dish so we can really experience what this dish has to offer. What's the flavor, smells, textures, so that eventually we can improve on it. So what we did is we started with a baking powder and flour mixture to make sure we had crispy chicken. <laughs> no one wants soggy chicken. And I knew the chicken would have to withstand the amount of syrup I was gonna put on it, so the crispier the better. You know, honestly, that should probably be my slogan. You can never go too crispy in my opinion. Next comes the all-important waffle, the base of this dish. What I found really interesting in my research for making waffles is how far more complex they really are. I assumed they were gonna be something like a pancake batter, but that's not what they are. To get fluffy Belgian style waffles, you have to make a batter that consists of uh, flour, uh, baking powder, baking soda, and then you gotta beat egg whites to make them fluffy, and then you gotta fold those egg whites and sour cream into the batter. And it's, well, it's completely opposite of the pancake batter. Now, taking my first few bites of the dish, I was flooded with the intense sweet syrup, the crispy meaty of the chicken, and the fluff of the waffle. But I started to realize something was missing. It was, it was good, don't get me wrong, but, and I'd be more than happy if I got this at a restaurant. But it, but I wanted more from the dish. And I really failed to see why so many before have told me their love for this dish and combination. Yes, it's, it's salty and sweet, crispy and creamy, but, but I wanted more from this dish. My taste buds begged for a better bite. So, stay tuned for the bourbon-tastic chicken and waffles. Thank you for watching, Solomon Glover. Please visit my blog for the recipe. Link will be down below. If anyone else would like to suggest a dish to make in the future, please comment below. Before you know it, that dish may be presented on Foodish. As always, please like and subscribe and share with all your foodie family and friends. Check you later.